Right now, police are searching for two men who shot a pregnant Jacksonville woman. I'm Ben Becker. And I'm Chandler Morgan. John and Tanika are off tonight. Lauren Gwen is eight months pregnant and is at home on bed rest. She says that her baby was not hurt by any of the five gunshots that she herself took last week. Action News Jackson Ecotier spoke with her today. She's live at JSO headquarters. Annette, she says that the men tried to kill her and they are still on the run. Yes, and Lauren Gwynn actually spoke to a detective this morning who says they are looking through surveillance video to find out who those suspects are. Now, while she was struck five times, as you mentioned, her baby boy, who has not been born yet and is expected to be born in a few weeks, has not been touched. You know, the whole time I was laying there just begging them to save my baby. <laughs> but he did. God saved him. Um, he's fine, kicking. Lauren Gwynn is 33 weeks pregnant. Last Friday, around midnight, Gunn was shot while hanging out with her child's father at a recording studio off Gibson Road. Gwynn says as she was heading to her car, she walked right past the alleged shooters. thought it was a homeless person asleep because the car was on and he was just kind of laid back in the front seat. Mm. Um, got in the car looked up, heard shots, and just saw him running towards me shooting. That's when Gwen says two suspects wearing ski masks approached her car and started shooting. Gwen says about 18 shots were fired at her. She was hit five times with one bullet narrowly missing her unborn son. I was shot in my pelvis. Um, I still have the bullet there. They don't want to take it out. It's about six centimeters from my baby's head. Um, then I have a bullet in this arm still. They don't want to take it out. And then this one was a through and through, and then I got grazed twice on my back. Gunn said she is scared to go outside knowing the men who tried to kill her are still out there. Her message to them? It's not worth it. Like, you're not only taking, you try to take my life and other people's life, but you're taking your life from your family as well because if you get caught, you're going to prison for life. You tried to kill two people, I'm pregnant, a baby. Now, she's currently on bed rest until her baby is born. So right now she can't work and medical bills are piling out up. So she created a GoFundMe to support her and her unborn child. And you can find that online at actionnewsjacks.com. Now, as for the suspects, JSO is still looking for them. So if you have any information, you're asked to contact them. For local coverage, you can count on live at JSO. Annette Gutierrez, Action News Jax.